Life's such a beautiful thing. Don't you think? <laughs> it's Food and Life's Beautiful Thing shirts, four smalls left, 11 extra large left, and 12 2XL left, and that's it. I want to thank each one of you guys for going out and copying yourself one of your OG Food and Life's Beautiful Thing shirt. If you guys haven't copied yourself one, what are you guys doing? Check in and check out. On a serious note, guys, I want to thank each and one of you guys from the bottom of my heart for selling me out on my first debut shirts of Take the First Bite shirts. My nice shirts, I still got a couple of nice shirts left if you guys haven't checked it out yet. And you guys are about to sell me out on the Food and Life's a Beautiful Thing shirt. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for your guys' support. I took a break yesterday, guys, and I just did nothing. I just did nothing and it felt so weird. Well, I did do something. <laughs> I posted on my ASMR channel. Check in if you guys haven't. Let's get into this. Hawaii, where are you guys at? This is my twist, my take on Hawaiian food. Let me show you how easy it is to make the best Hawaiian food made at home. Don't blink. Chicken long rice. So I got eight quarts of water here. One whole chicken into the pool. I don't care if you can swim. Just get in. Two large onion into the pool. Two bunches of green onion into the pool. And two pieces of ginger sliced up. Finish this off with a tablespoon of salt. And we're gonna let this boil for about one hour. After an hour, I'm gonna toss in my glass noodles and we'll just call it a day. Let's do our poi. Canada does not hold any purple taro. The white taro is the only taro I can find here in Canada or in my city. But I will keep looking guys. We're just gonna boil this for about 20 to 30 minutes. Another pot that's simmering here, which I'm just gonna throw in some macaroni or elbow noodles. And we're gonna make a Hawaiian macaroni salad. Next, Kolua pig. Guys, Polynesian, Hawaiians. I wanna say this, I wanna apologize that this will not be your traditional Kolua pig just because I do not have an emu or I have to create one. Should I create one right now? I don't know, but I do not have an emu. I have one of this. I bought this just today. It's called the Instant Pot. And I'm gonna do my twist and take on it, guys. Um, I'm just gonna say this is a mimic of your guys' famous Kalua pig. So I got two pieces of pork shoulders here. Olive oil into the pan. I'm gonna sear this first. I forgot it was hot. <laughs> we're gonna go heavy with the salt, guys. The reason why we're going heavy with the salt because this roast is huge. So most of the salt will not even be absorbed, or it will be absorbed, but it's not gonna be penetrating it as much. About five minutes on each side. It's got a nice and sear. I'll flip it over. I salt the other side. Nice and heavy. Once you got your meat nice and seared, I got my banana leaf here. Wrap this around the banana leaf. Simple and easy. Take it to my crock pot or my, what is this called? Instant pot. <laughs> I'm just gonna toss it in. I know it does not look that pleasant in there, but guys, the banana leaf's gonna give it that nice earthy taste to this. I'm just gonna pack it in. This is my first time ever using this instant pot here. Oh, I got this too. Just because the emu makes a lot of smoke flavor. I got this hickory liquid smoke. Pour in two tablespoons of. Lastly, two cups of water. And we just let this sit in this emu, or emu. <laughs> All right, I'm not even sure how it works. Meat stew stewing for about one hour and 10 minutes. My taro root is finally nice and boiled into the blender here. And I'll pour some of that water in too just to help it blend up. Blend this up. I'm just gonna add a little salt into this. Let's get that all nice incorporated. Your homemade poi is complete. Next, macaroni salad. So we take our macaroni that we just finished cooking. Two cups of mayonnaise, one teaspoon of sesame oil, one tablespoon of mustard, two tablespoons of carrots or shredded carrots. Mix that in. There it is, my take on Hawaiian macaroni salad. One hour's up for my chicken long rice. All I'm gonna do, pull out this chicken and we let this chicken rest on the side. And next, taste is broth. And you guessed it guys, fish sauce. I'm gonna throw one tablespoon of this in. I got a nice and seasoned to my liking of taste. I'm gonna take out the aromatics. Take my glass noodles that has been rehydrating in this water here. I'm just gonna toss them into the pool. My fire is off guys, and I'm just gonna let this soak in this broth here for the time being. My chicken has cooled. The polar chicken. Get your chicken nice and shredded into my long chicken rice stock. The green onion. And there it is, my twist and take on chicken long rice. Spam musubi. So I got my whole can of Span cut up here. Let's go two tablespoons of sugar. Don't worry guys, they will just caramelize some sriracha. And last but not least, some muran. One tablespoon of this. Next, our seasoned rice. So this is still hot. Four cups of cooked rice here or cow rose rice here. One teaspoon of rice vinegar. One teaspoon of muran. Fold this rice in. 
expand musubi. So you get your expand can, get some wrapper foil or what is it? Saran wrap? Wrapper foil. What am I thinking? Wrapper foil. A good scoop of rice. Take a nice bented spoon. Pack that. Pack that rice in. Piece of your spam. Toss your spam in. Take this. Pull it out. Finish it off with a strip of seaweed. And just saran wrap this again. Nice, simple, easy spam CV recipe. Come to light. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> An hour, 10 minutes up. All I'm gonna do is release the valve. Oh, that scares me. <laughs> Once all the air has been released, the moment of truth. Is this the perfect Kolua pig you guys have ever seen made at home or what? I'm not even sure. <laughs> I'm not even sure myself. <laughs> is it pork, fork tender? Let's see if it's fork tender. Yeah, it's fork tender. Oh, that's not bad at all, guys. That is not bad at all. I want to taste it. Mmm. -hmm. That's really good. <laughs> if this didn't come out right, I was gonna return this and tell the customer service person that my mom didn't like it and I had to return it. <laughs> but I ain't gonna lie guys, it came out perfect. Fork tender in an hour and 10 minutes. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Show you how tender this is. Wow. <laughs> definitely instant pot or instant pot definitely is a must buy. That's amazing. Look how tender it is. Truly amazing. Yep. <laughs> I can't wait to cook foot in this. I want I want to know how foot will come out. Would it be better tasting? I know it'd be very fast, but would it be tasting the same as in stewing it for about 6 hours? Wow. That's beautiful. Next time I use the Instant Pot, I will cook the pork roast for about 1 hour and 30 minutes because in the middle here, it's still a little hard, but still did its job. So tender pull away pork here, still a little hard in the middle, but all in all, 10 out of 10. Shout out to all my Samoans, Polynesian, Hawaiians. Don't lie to me, guys. You know your food looks good in one of these. Don't lie to yourself. First things first, let's take our poi. So poi is just mashed up taro. I'm just gonna put it here. Poi on this side. So I'm gonna say, Quan, why are you making two? Who's the other one for? It's for me. <laughs> for me after I finish working out. Come on, guys. <laughs> Next, got some chicken long rice. Oh, this is hard to take out. I'm just gonna put some on this side here. Next. Next will be my mock or my twist and take on Kalua pork. Nice healthy dose on it on the side. Next we got our Hawaiian macaroni salad. And last but not least, finish it off with our spam musubi. Right in the middle there. This is my twist, my take on your traditional local Hawaiian feast. When are you guys gonna come by? I was gonna throw it on a plate, but I know it's not gonna look as fire as this. So I'm gonna not throw it on a plate. Is that cool with everybody? Just come through, guys. Shout out to all the Hawaiians, Polynesians, Samoans out there. How did I do? <laughs> so, got our fork. Get you guys closer. I don't know why you guys are so far. Well, that's why you guys are so far, because doesn't fit my head into the screen here. All right, there's Kitty right there. Kitty, 
Everybody wants to see you. Ah, okay. <laughs> Come say hi, you little brat. Come here. Everyone's asking where you been. Just napping. You've been napping a lot, hey, because it's hot. Right? I like your new haircut. <laughs> you want some food? I'll give you some after. Okay, kitty? Okay? Okay? <laughs> you brat. Hands clean because some of you guys are really nitpicky about everything. <laughs> but let's get into this, guys. So, first things first. Spam musubi. Quick time, guys. Hawaiian favorite. Yes, got it. Nice. Might be not the same marinade, but I know it's going to be delicious. I'm pumped for this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A little sweet, salty, tangy. Mmm. Spicy. Fall through with the long rice, wait, long rice chicken? Yeah, long rice chicken. Quick time. Let's go. Nice. I'm pumped for this. Mm -hmm. In Vietnam, we have the same dish like this. But I don't know why. Vietnamese people eat this dish with rice. I kind of find it weird where it's just noodle dish and rice together. Well, I don't know. I guess it's okay. <laughs> rice and noodles together. I think that's too much carbs together. Mm -hmm. All right, my mock meat of Kahlua pig. Quick time, guys. Nice, got it. Nice. Let me try to explain the flavor for you guys. If you guys ever had Kahlua pork before, please tell me if it tastes like this. All right, I'm pumped for this. Mmm. Soft, juicy, tender, warm. Has a hint of banana leaf taste to it. A good seasoning of salt um, and a bit of hickory smoke. Does a Kahlua pork taste like that? You guys gotta tell me. Macaroni salad, quick time. That's good, nice. Mm hmm. Just like any macaroni salad, I'll say, with sesame seeds or sesame oil in it. Poi, quick dab. Nice. Mm hmm. I want to say taro root by itself tastes like, I want to say, mm -hmm. Mm. do you know what? I thought this taro root would have been a little more white, but it has a shade of purple in it. I was looking for the purple taro root, but I guess this is the purple taro root. <laughs> but taro root is awesome. I really don't know what to compare it to. Like a nice silky mashed potato. <laughs> yeah, that. Mmm. -hmm. You guys down in Hawaii. I want you guys to try this technique of making Kulua pig and tell me if it's legit. Cause this is legit for me. Mmm, 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 mmm. Nice simple flavor. You got that good pork taste. That good seasoning salt. 
and a hint of smoky background or smoky taste background. Mmm. -hmm. Yep. I wonder why Samoans are so jacked up. They're eating hearty meals every day. Mm-hmm. That's one race I do not want to face. I know Samoans are the nicest people in the world, but when you get on their bad side, I, I just want to say game over. <laughs> They're beasts. Friendly beasts. Mmm. This right here is love, guys. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I have a story to tell. Mm. I was gonna make lao lao. If you guys don't know what lao lao is, it's um, I even bought the leaf. I haven't found the leaf. I found the lotus leaf. Is it the lotus leaf? Wait, let me let me pull it out. I found taro leaves. So I found taro leaves. To make lao lao, you need taro leaves and tea leaf or Thai leaf. I found taro leaves, but I was on the search for Thai leaves or tea leaves, and I went to my local flower shop and found tea leaves. When I found tea leaves, I was gonna buy it until this lady stopped me for it. Um, she just asked me what I was gonna do with it. I don't know why, but I, I told her I was gonna cook with it. And when she heard that, she kind of freaked out on me because um, the flowers they grow or the flowers they import in filled with pesticides and all these chemicals just because it's a flower shop, right? So for a flower shop to grow, they demand a lot. So if they demand a lot, these companies out there will they'll do whatever it can just to make these flower grow for them. So chemicals, pesticides, you name it, they throw it in. I even talked to her about um, just boiling it on the side and she said it, it wouldn't even matter. And I kind of got scared and I had to return the tea leaves. I was just close to buying one leaf Mm-mm-mm. That's how much one leaf or two leaves cost. Four dollar. For one leaf. And the leaf was like this big. This thin. I was shocked. I've been asked, I was like, how are Hawaiians eating this? And she flat out told me, it grows in Hawaii. And she told me that the tea leaf country they get from is from Ecuador. Mmm, 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 mmm. I ain't gonna lie guys, this is the most amazing thing ever. So shout out to all the Hawaiians out there. If you guys wanna send me some tea leaves, send me some tea leaves. <laughs> no, don't send me any tea leaves. I will keep searching it for you guys. Or, I gotta make it down to Hawaii. One of you guys gotta show me around Hawaii. Mmm. -hmm. I wanna know the best spots to eat in Hawaii. I don't want no hipster place. I want the mom and pop place. Cause nowadays guys, so much hipsters, hip places are coming out.
it's all good, but for me, I like the mom and pop shop. Why am I blaming the hipsters? <laughs> I do the same thing. I'm a hypocrite. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm a hypocrite. I always do my best to try to keep it more tradition than it is. This is the most beautifulest thing ever. Mm, 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 mm. Everything's just perfect. That's love. Life's such a beautiful thing, don't you think? Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to pick up one of your bomb shirts, a food life's beautiful thing shirt. Shirts. Peace out.